So the government's trying to do a number of things to help companies, and specifically targeting even the energy uh, industry, uh, with to help them with cybersecurity. They've provided a bit of guidance with regard to the the NIST cybersecurity framework, which really provides guidance in terms of those focus areas and those capabilities and those outcomes that the energy industry needs to work on improving. Most recently, though, they've been working to help. Uh, really reduce some of the, the the issues that have prevented energy companies from sharing information, sharing cyber threat information. Uh, historically, it was it was seen good enough for companies to protect uh, their perimeter, right? So if they protected their network prevented folks from getting into it with firewalls, for example. That was considered adequate. But with the, the prevalence of, of threats, it's not good enough anymore. So you almost have to assume that there is a threat that is currently within your organization or within your network environment. Um, so intelligence becomes very important. Being able to un identify and understand what's going on in your network environment um, and understanding um, the threats or vulnerabilities that might currently be within your, your environment is important. But understanding what threats and vulnerabilities are impacting the industry as a whole becomes very important. Because if one company's uh, experiencing a threat, um, and they can share that with other industry colleagues and industry peers, uh, they can react quickly to that industry threat, even if they have not yet detected it within their environment.